Hannah fam, happy Vlogmas. I really didn't participate this year, and I'm really sorry for that, but I had a lot going on, but I wanted to at least get one day of Vlogmas out, so I decided to do like a themed Vlogmas video. I went on Instagram and I asked on my story if anybody put anything unique or different, or if you guys had a family tradition of things that you would put in stockings, just to kind of get different ideas, maybe different cannabis ideas, whatever the case may be. And some of you did respond and it was really great because a lot of them are very unique, a lot of them are creative, and I wanted to share those with you. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have this beautiful Snowy the Bear piece from Daily High Club. I really love this piece. It's so festive this year. Let's get started. Keep It Sticky told me that they do cannabis every year. Now let me tell you, I would love to find any type of cannabis in my stocking. That's always a great gift. I'm down for that. Thank you, Keep It Sticky. I really appreciate it. Vision by Ferris writes that they would put joints in the stocking. And I am down for that. I think I would even put them in like candy cane wrapping paper or like festive kind of Christmas joint wrapping paper and that would be so amazing. So that's definitely the same page that I'm on Vision by Ferris. That's definitely number one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now here's one that I actually did a story on. They have a tangerine on Snapchat. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Little orange tangerine with a Christmas hat on. And I was like, what the crap is this? I've never seen that before. And the Best Buds, which I absolutely love the Best Buds, amazing. Such a great, great person. I love her. She is definitely one of my favorite people. But she said that she gets an orange in her stocking every year. And then my friend Smoking Edra popped up and she said that they actually used to take the oranges and put them in the stockings if families didn't have money for candy. Also, they didn't have, back in the day, they didn't have candy wrapped to where we do today, to where it would be perishable. So they would just put a orange or a tangerine in the stocking as something sweet. And so I thought that was really cool. So the Best Buds got an orange in her stocking and Edra told me about the whole meaning of the oranges in stocking. So it kind of came to fruition for me. She also said that her grandma is going to put edibles in her stocking this year. Can your grandma adopt me? Because that's amazing grandma. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you so much Best Buds and Smoking Edra for commenting and joining in on this Vlogmas video. Baked Brie said that she puts poems in stockings, and I thought that was really awesome. Maybe a little haiku, something like that. That's definitely from the heart. It's very thoughtful. That's something that I feel is a really great thing to get in the stocking. So thank you so much, Brie. It was great, unique, and I'm totally probably going to use that for next year. I Smoke Flowers says that she just tells everybody how badass they are and how they shouldn't let anything get to them and just to be the best self and that is awesome. We need definitely more positivity in the world, especially around the holidays and I definitely love to be told things like that because it just makes you feel good about yourself. So thank you so much I Smoke Flowers because that was perfect. This one is from Ab the Ganja Babe. She said that she would do a little themed gift and then add into the gift a card that explains why she chose those different things. It could be a cannabis theme, she said, or just, you know, maybe a theme of something of a hobby or something they like. I really love that. I'm a huge theme person. I don't know what it is about a theme. You can find a really great present and just match stuff up. So I thought that was a brilliant idea. Thank you so much, Ab. That was perfect. And last but certainly not least, my husband said that he would get anything with unicorns, i.e. this onesie he got for me this year, or anything that's Nightmare Before Christmas. So he's definitely playing on my loves, and that's obviously the definitely one of the best, you know, gifts that you can give is something that somebody truly loves or something that somebody really enjoys. So of course my husband knows me all so well. If it's anything Nightmare Before Christmas or has unicorns on it, it's down for me. I got a whole lot of other messages kind of asking me to check out product and just saying, hey, 
and I really appreciate that, but I definitely wanted just to make this video mainly about what was going to be put in the stocking stuffers and any stories behind that. Especially with the tangerine slash orange story, I thought that was really cool. I learned something and I also learned about someone's family life. I had no idea that we were still putting oranges in stockings and I might even start doing just a regular orange, but every year I do go out, it's funny that this should be said, every year that I do go out I get my husband in a chocolate orange every year, one of those little oranges that's chocolate and you like smash it and it goes into pieces with the different slices. And so I do put a chocolate orange in his stocking every year on Christmas. So that's kind of, I guess, my way of doing the tangerine thing and I didn't even know that I did it. So it was really cool. But all in all, I really wanted to make this video to show people, especially those who, who are going through a struggle, those who don't have a whole lot of money, that you don't have to really put a dollar value on a gift. You could write a poem. You could get a tangerine from the grocery store. You could get a couple different themed things or get a couple different things that they really take an interest in, love, and enjoy. If it's from the heart and there's thought put into it, no matter what, nine times out of ten, somebody should love it. I know I do. I know I like more of the thoughtful gifts than I do materialistic gifts. I'm just not a materialistic person. So I've just never really been on a dollar value type name brand stuff. If it comes from the heart, it's worth more to me, or if it's going to teach me anything. I just want to say that like knowledge is power and knowledge is priceless. And if somebody can teach you something versus just buying you something, I think that's way better off because you're going to hold that and keep that forever. Well, as long as your brain is functioning and working, you'll keep it and hold it. And then you could teach others. It's like a gift that keeps on giving. It's awesome. I love it. So get out there and teach somebody something. Give them something from the heart. Find that they'll find more value in the gift that you gave that cost you no money versus something that you went and spent $100 to $150 on. It's just that simple. I do anyways. And I can't speak for everybody because there are materialistic people out there and that's fine. Do you. I'm not judging. It is what it is. I'm just saying you can hold lots of value in other things that aren't of material possessions. Thank you so much everyone for your input on this vlogmas video. I could not have done it without you. I couldn't be happier. I wish you guys all happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate, happy holidays and merry vlogmas. And as always, stay lit and have a cloudy day, you guys. <laughs>